Leo, how is the globe scientifically impossible? Something I've been asked quite a lot recently because of the statements I make. It's quite simple. Large standing bodies of water do not have the ability to display convexity upon its surface, a scientific fact. Tower cranes do not have the ability to be dead still on a spinning ball. Another scientific fact. There's no scientific demonstrations on Earth using a pendulum to prove that tower cranes or any pendulum could be dead still on a spinning ball. Sorry if that triggers you, but that, I'm afraid, is demonstrable reality. And demonstrable reality, which can be tested and verified by all, even if you're a globe believer, the results of demonstrable reality, which is what I stand by, prove scientifically the globe is impossible. I stand by simply the things that are demonstrably true. They can be tested and verified by every globe earth believer and they will get the same damning results as me. It's just they choose not to stand by the obvious truth. Instead, they'll entertain all sorts of daft stories and stargazing fantasies. Rather than myself, who will stand by the obvious truth and entertain and marinate in the discomfort of going against the grain, when really I stand by the most obvious truth there is. One that even the doubters can verify and test for themselves. But whether it's down to the ego, a bias, they choose not to. Like I said, this thing on our screens is scientifically impossible. This stuff and these wonderful machines prove it. I don't need anyone on earth to tell me stories or explanations. I'm not interested. Only demonstrable science. All I stand by and as a matter of the results of demonstrable reality, I know this is impossible and so do you. It's up to you now. Do you stand by what is demonstrably true? Or you do, do you stand by daftness, silly stories? Do you stargaze to justify the silliness in which you stand by, i.e. ignoring the obvious truth and pretending that you live on a cannonball flying through a vacuum? Come on, it's not difficult.